Hello everyone, I'm the Solo Gamer, and welcome back to European Size 4 as Italy. Yes! Alright, so last episode we finished up our war against Naples and Spain for Southern Italy. We didn't get all of Southern Italy. In fact, Sicily was supposed to form, but they didn't. Uh, it, I think it had something to do with um, Naples switching their capital to Palermo, which would have been the Sicilian capital. I, I don't exactly know what happened here, but it messed up. Sicily didn't form, which means that we're going to have a harder time at taking this in the future because it's on an island, and... I don't necessarily have the advantage over Spain, if they join again, which uh, they would now, but we, we have a truce and everything, so yeah, that's going to be a pain in the butt, but uh, we took all these provinces, so we'll gain all of this stuff in the future, we don't have to worry about that right now, uh, we are, I think, uh, converting them, yep, we are converting, or no, we're coring, and converting, this. I don't know, we're doing other stuff, uh, so before we get going here, I just want to kind of get a little bit of a an idea of what's going on in the world. So, first and foremost, I did notice that Portugal was in an independence war. The Caribus and Portuguese Colombia have risen up, and they want to be free. I don't blame them. Funny enough, the Aztec, who are a significant power now, because they're Western, and also want to be my ally, um, are actually fighting on the side of Caribus and Portuguese Colombia. So there, there's a huge revolt going on over here, which is actually really, really cool. And I hope to see more independent nations come out of this, because I don't want Spain and Portugal to have that much influence. I really don't. Especially if it means me not getting the rest of southern Italy here. So that's, that's very, very good. Uh, as for the Aztecs, I could actually ally them. They want to be my ally. And that could put a nice little border on uh, Southern America here. So that uh, they can focus on, well, these guys down in here, and likewise the Aztecs, so that they don't come up and do some harm up here in, in the Mediterranean. So that could be cool, uh, having the Aztecs. Alternatively, we are in Asia now, and I want to focus on Asian uh, provinces, which would be great. And I, th my number one target right now would be Japan, to take the rest of the island over and then work my way wherever I want to go from there. However, Korea actually wants to be my ally over here. The only downside to this alliance would be that they are still Chinese. So, I'm not sure if that's going to help anything. But, um, they could distract Japan's navy or something like that, because Japan has a navy and I, I don't really have one over here yet. So getting across the Sugaru Strait would be kind of difficult if I didn't have a presence over here. Now, the good thing to this is that Japan is also Chinese, so they could actually rival each other in that aspect. Before we make any alliances, though, we do have to worry about our own relationships, uh, because we have one over. Now, I can actually reduce it by two by annexing Switzerland, which I'm actually going to do right now. And kill that. And dropping off my weakest alliance, which would be... Bohemia, I, I would imagine. I need Guyenne because of Spain. Sadly, Guyenne doesn't have a great military compared to Bohemia, but they are on the border of Spain, and I do need them to stay in our wars. Great Britain, that's a key successor in a lot of wars uh, with navy and stuff like that, so I, I'm definitely going to keep them. And their colonial powerhouse. They have a bunch of colonies already in North America, and uh, starting to get some in uh, Africa as well. So they're, they're a no-brainer to keep. Russia? Do I need to say any more? Russia is a perfect ally. And that's it. So Bohemia is the only one that really doesn't bring anything to the table. They do have the elector, or rather the emperor status of the HRE. However, that means nothing when allied with somebody. If I call Bohemia in, they can't call anybody else in, so I don't really care. <laughs> Having them be the emperor is great because if they do form the, uh, the Holy Roman Empire... I will be allied with them, which is a huge, huge benefit. However, they are a long way off, and it doesn't look like they're going to get it anytime soon. So, I I don't uh, I don't really care for Bohemia. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to dissolve the alliance or whatever. I'm going to let it run out on its own. You know, once the uh, the royal marriage ends, it's probably going to get a little bit of a, a little bit uh, lessened, and they might not want to be my ally anymore. We'll see. But uh, I'm just going to kind of passively annoy them. You know, that works. Okay. Another thing I want is a larger navy. We are neglecting our navy, which is kind of bad considering we're imperial now. We have property over in Indonesia and Asia. 
as well as um, the, uh, the Suez area in here. I don't have the Suez Canal, and I want to work towards that, but we do need a larger navy to kind of maintain a foothold in this area. So what we're going to do is I've set up these templates, I think. Uh, no, I didn't. Okay, great. That was a different save. <laughs> okay, well, anyway, we're going to do a 20 stack of transports in the, uh, the Asian area. We're also going to do a stack of 10 heavy ships and five light ships. So that would be a total of 35 ships that we're going to build and transport over to uh, Indonesia because I think we need a standing over there. You know what I mean? So we could probably just build these right now, right? And that's 35. No, we can't, but we will soon. Definitely soon. And to kind of fulfill, you know, a larger force limit, I want to eradicate one of my idea groups. Uh, we aren't using influence. It would be great to use influence in the future, but I don't need it right now. So we'll cancel that and actually get something that's going to be helpful towards us, uh, towards our goals here, which is quantity ideas. Quantity isn't a naval uh, idea group, but it does have great things for either side, land and naval. So we have the national arsenal, which would give us 25% more naval force limit and 50% land force limit. But not only that, it's going to give us a lot more, uh, you know, cool stuff like uh, lowered attrition and building power costs minus 20%. This is pretty common sense, so we do have power costs, uh, building power costs. We use all these points up here, so it would be great to have this. So quantity ideas it is. And plus, we don't have another uh, military idea group, so this is going to really help us out. We'll be able to build this as we go here. Okay, so we are just uh, kind of letting time pass now. Seeing what needs to be done. Of course, we are watching the, uh, there it is down here. We are watching the rebel factions. If the Portuguese patriots get too high, we will kill them because uh, I don't really want to send a force over to Japan right now. They have 12.4 unrest each. That is insane. Once we, of course, work on the, uh, the religion, it will be much better. Why am I at one speed? Okay. <laughs> Alright, so we are also working on our colony in... Maguindanao. Uh, we will move up to Pane soon. And hopefully push out the Portuguese once we can in our next war. So somebody did actually tell me that I could take over a colony and actually send my colonists there and it would convert the uh, culture. Which I didn't know before. Um, and we're going to want to do that in the future as well. So I didn't actually see what this war was over here. The uh, Netherlands war. But they were at war against Scandinavia. Which was interesting. And France really. Interesting, okay. Okay, the uh, the Urbanese rose up, but it shouldn't be uh, much of a challenge. Portuguese Patriots, I want to harsh treatment. Boom! You will not rise. Okay, let's just take a look around here, see what's going on in the way of uh, future wars. Hungary would be great, but they are allied with Russia. Which is not good. Ottomans, obviously. We can go into the Ottomans. Russia would join, which is all we need. I would like Great Britain, but they're too far away. Guyenne is distant, and Bohemia is obviously distant as well. But this would be a great war in the future anyway, because I want to reclaim a lot of Anatolia and stuff like that. A reclaim. It wasn't ours to begin with, but it will be ours. Definitely. So we can build a bridge down to this area in here, which is kind of... I mean, it's, it's a great little area. But in terms of unrest, if I want to conquer the rest of the Mamluks, I need a stationary force that's just going to stay over in this area to kind of quell the rebellions rather than have my guys, you know, all up in here and stuff. So definitely want to take out the Ottomans in the future. Uh, Tunis wants to be an ally, surprisingly enough. Morocco. Yep, Morocco. Although they're not really that powerful. Portugal's afraid of us, which is great. In fact, the Ottomans have internal conflicts. If there's any time to strike, it would be soon. Let's see here. The Ottomans have 58,000 troops with 23,000 manpower. We will let that manpower drop a little bit more before we decide if we want to go in or not. How's this war doing? Portugal is winning this war because the Caribbean, their capital, has been sieged out. Crap. I was hoping they'd become independent, but sadly, no. 
Okay, we just converted something, so we're going to go ahead and keep on working on these guys. Alexandria. Yeah, do that, because that's going to take the longest time, and I want to get that done fast. Okay, our colony is done. Let's go up to Pan A and head up there. Okay. What I'm also going to do is work on... Yeah, let's work on a national or a glorious monument because I want to keep my prestige up this high because it, it's great for us. You can see the effects from our, our current prestige on the bottom there, and that's a lot of good stuff. Uh, so we'll build that in Rome, obviously enough. Technology cost, we will get that as well. We'll build that in Venezia. Uh, anything else? Stability cost modifier. We have an extra leader. However, we might want to keep our naval tradition going up. In fact, it's going down by negative 1.6? Jeez, that decay is insane. I think I do want that, yeah. Oh, I don't want that to fall too much. Let's put you in Crete. Why not? Of course, we also want to focus on our forts and stuff. Make sure our forts are up to date. We'll build them over here. And you know what? Yeah, we'll build them over here as well. Just so they help speed up the uh, culture or the conversion cost as well. Because we still have Catholic in here. Okay. Damietta was converted. Perfect. Let's go ahead and convert Salento. And how long is it going to take to integrate uh, Switzerland? 1671. Now, if you don't know, the reason why I took over Switzerland was because of their center of reformation. However, if we take a look, the centers are all gone. And reformed is really strong. That is quite surprising. Catholic is really not that powerful in Europe anymore. Jeez Louise. That's that's really crazy. I have I don't think I've seen this that, you know, powerful. Especially Reformed. Reformed is usually just like Brittany, and Brittany's not even... Oh, that's because it's Spain now. Well, there you go. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. Dispute of Secession? Oh, Cayenne. Really? Well, it doesn't really matter because it's uh, only a weak claim, which I don't care about. <sighs> it's not my house. My house is the uh, Colonna. We lost a claim on Kutch, Gurnar, Baroda, Sir... Oh, India. Right. I have that, uh... Crap. Yeah, I'm not going to go into India. I'm going to focus on my, uh, you know, J Japanese and stuff like that. Conquests. There we go. I can't think of the words. It's early in the morning. I'm sorry. Ah! Okay, so Caritas will be forced to give Portugal 10%. And that's... It. They're not, uh, no, they're not independent. Sadly. Well, that sucks. Portugal announced me as their rival. Perfect. Why don't I do the same to you? You are 63% weaker than me, which I love. So I'll do the same. Also, I will try to embargo you if I can. No? Oh, we have a, what? Really? Alright, that's interesting. I can't embargo when I have a truce. Okie dokie. Naval force limit. Ooh, I want that. Yes, over here, on the islands. Uh, God, need to build docks and everything. I want to increase my naval force limit, obviously, enough so I can build this uh, Asian naval power. Okay, earth ramparts are being built. Perfect, our forts are now up to date somewhat. We have up to four... What does everybody else have? Uh, we are actually the majority. We have a great uh, fort base, which is good. I do want to kind of finish this area up in here. Because if Spain does come over, it'll be through this area. So, first and foremost, let's go ahead and uh, convert. As well as uh, do this. Bum, bum, bum. Ah, oh, crap. We need a hundred. Well, we're making decent money, actually, which is good. Regency Council in the Ottomans, really? And they're at war against uh, Karakoyanlu. For what? What is this? Who started this? The Yemeni Purge of Karakoyanlu Heresy. So it's not even uh, Karakoyanlu's war. Well, it's not even the Ottomans' war, I should say. What do you have for military now? Ottomans, 17,002 mercenaries. So they're, they're getting anxious and they want to build mercenaries. 
You know what? I want to do this. We don't have to worry much about the rebels anymore. So let's just go ahead and work on this. So let's get a claim. Because I don't like show superiority. Because that might not go well. Let's get a claim on Yeni Pazar. Sure. And uh, let's get this done. Now they are allied with the uh, with Crimea, Yemen, Timurids, and Funj. However, Yemen and Funj are... Well, Funj is uh, sub-Saharan. Yemen is Muslim. The Ottomans are Ottoman, obviously. Timurids are nomads, so these guys really just suck. And when I have the Russians on my side, which they will join here... Uh, well, I saw that they would join. We're going to be great. Especially considering the Ottomans are already being sieged out. So, let's do this. We might, you know, lose some sieges down in here, but that's okay. As long as we're, you know, fulfilling the main goal of conquering the Ottomans. That being said, what do you have for forts? Yeah. Right. I suppose that'll work for the time being. Yeah, I want to I want to build this one over here. This one's more of a pressing matter because it's Spain. Spain is still... Oh, what the hell? What the hell? Really? I guess so. I want something from this, though. I want your... Gold province. Well, I can't even... Okay, I'll take... I take. I guess I'll take Sud Tyrol. So, fabricate claim on Sud Tyrol. And I guess join. Damn it. Alright, back up here. Uh, let's move you over to Gores, please. And see what's going on. Hopefully they don't have a military. Or a large... Actually, they don't. They don't have a large military at all. Which is good for us. Let's go in. And we're going to just go into Sud Tyrol and kind of split our armies up and go in. Now, this war is for the Bohemian Reconquest of Niederbayern, which is uh, in Augsburg. Okay, that works for me. Military. They do have an extra military tech, but uh, it's only it's only infantry shock 0.50. So that, that shouldn't matter. Not in the least. We're just going to go ahead and, and siege all these provinces. I don't want uh, Bohemia to expand into Austria as much. I'd like it. Let's go. You want to fight me? That's what I thought. Okay, that's not what I thought. Hurry right, up, get over there. Our army is under attack in Graz, that's okay. We're sending over the 14 stack, which should come in and swiftly kill the rest of the uh, the Austrians. Okay. Let's move you there. And let's move you there. Perfect! We have the entirety of Austria sieged out except for this over here, which is fine. Austria is ours. Where the hell do you think you're going? No, 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 no. Are you kidding me? Let's go. There we go. All right. I don't think the Austrians have much of a military now. In fact, they have 0.9. Great. <laughs> okay. Well, that was easy. We'll just siege out the rest of this. We have plenty of manpower, so we can even still do this after the, uh, uh, the Ottoman War after we do this war in here. And plus, we might gain something out of this. We might gain Sud Tyrol, which would be great. Because I want to gain more provinces up in here. And luckily, we're gonna get, we're gonna siege out the entirety of Austria, which uh, which means that Bohemia can't have it, so they can't expand, which is good for us. Quantity ideas? Uh, no, not right now. We want to gain that uh, the next tech there. So we just gained our um, Casus Belli against the Ottomans. What do the Ottomans have for a navy? That's what I want to check actually. They have, if my eyes can adjust here, 65. 19 transports, 25 galleys. That's the killer there, the 25 galleys. We may have a bunch of light ships, but they have the galleys, and that's that's where they're going to get the bonus. Yeah, we won't be able to take them on the seas quite yet. However, if we reduce them to just Anatolia, we will be able to strengthen our navy as well through uh, Constantinople, obviously. Uh, Kirkley, Solicitor, Ackerman, which is Bessarabria. It's going to really help us out. I really hope Bohemia gives me this province. 
I would really appreciate that. However, they have the war goal now, and they might just peace out for that war goal. Ugh, I don't know. Tokachi is done. Oh, Portuguese Patriots. Kill. Let's go ahead and uh, work on the rest. The last province that we can work on over here. Why can't we work on this? Oh, because it's already being converted. Okay. Oh, yes. Uh, mission. Colonize Taranga. Where is Taranga? Taranga. In New Zealand. No, it's. I don't think it's going to be worth it for me to do that. Even for the... Well, you know what? Let's... Uh, no, I, I don't want to. I, I don't want to. I really need to focus on destroying the Portuguese. <laughs> I really do. So our claim isn't actually up here, so I really hope that... Oh, crap. I really hope it finishes before the end of this war. Wonderful. And work on the last province, which is Abruzzi. So uh, we will be fully converted in, uh, well, let's see. Where are our missionaries? Right at the top, of course. So Alexandria is going to finish in 1669, which seems to be the most. So 1669 will be fully converted. And the Ottomans became Western, which is actually bad for us. However, they have internal conflicts, so it's actually kind of good for us right now. Because they can't really catch up. What is going on? Burgundy and Savoy want access. Sure, that's fine by me. I do want to take out Savoy in the future and actually kind of probably vassalize them. They're a great little province, and I uh, I do want them. <laughs> All right, let's go sit and... Uh, actually, let's go and start putting ourselves back on the border of the Ottomans. Linz is done. Great. Come over here again. We're just trying to move everybody over. Crane is done. Well, wait for this guy to kind of mosey on in, and then you can do the same thing. On the 30th. Great. And head over to Altenia. I hope that's going to work. When are you moving? Third. Sixth. Crap. Eighth. Oh, God. All right, let's do that then. Oh my god! I'm getting pissed off by these stupid movements here. It makes no sense. You know what? Fine. You're not going to do much anyway. Good god. Lorraine wants access. Sure, that's fine. All right, Lienz is done. Go to Kosovo. I'm trying to remember my splitting here and uh, see if I get it right in the end. Okay, Carnton is done. You are Altenia. Of course, Surtiril is going to be the last one sieged out, so I might not even get to uh, have the option of him giving it to me yet. Uh, before the end. In fact, I didn't. You stupid son of a... This is why I hate you. <laughs> this is why I'm not going to be friends with you anymore. Ah. He distracted me from my war in the Ottomans, and he didn't even give me anything. <sighs> okay, well, we're almost over here anyway. Group these guys up, and group these guys up. Perfect. Let's go ahead and uh, declare war. Immediately. For Yeni Pazar. Yeni Pazar. Actually, you know what? We'll save that for next time. Yes, we, we will. I hope you all enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and definitely stay tuned for more.